answer. Because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be The world awaits to receive you. Topic that is continuously going on and is being overlooked. And it was like it was fixed, but it was never fixed. Let's talk about Flint. Flint, Flint, Michigan again. The water system. Allegedly. Y'all remember what was going on before that these people were being poisoned, allegedly with the poison, with the poison, with the water source. And the companies knew about the things that needed to be fixed, the old pipes. And these people were living months to months out of bottles of water. And it was getting really bad. So now we have another update because I don't think things never got better. But it was just out of the news, so we wasn't paying attention. So let's get to what's going on in Flint, Michigan. Because it seems like it's going down right now. And then I do want to say thank you guys because I know my voice sounds pretty horrible. But y'all love me. So I appreciate you. So let's listen to this together. But I want to make sure that you guys are going to be able to hear it. Y'all know sometimes I move a little bit fast. And I want to make sure that y'all have, don't have any issues hearing because StreamYard is amazing. Okay. So until the entire city of Flint remains under a boiled filtered water advisory. Again. Flint City crews working since the early morning hours, isolating the break, starting repairs. Until then, residents and businesses have to take precautions. Residents should filter cold water, then boil that water and replace their cartridge when the advisory is lifted. At Totem Books and Cafe, patrons in the need of a caffeine boost will have to go without. Mm. Then we got a call from the health department telling us like we can't can't make tea or coffee or anything, which is like those are a big, you know, seller. Coffee sales helps the small business boost its bottom line. And we don't have like a way to boil the water either because we don't have like a stove top or whatever. So, <laughs> yeah, we're kind of screwed on that one. <laughs> Crews will spend the weekend not only repairing the break, but also testing the water quality. We're going to maintain our testing to maintain the level of quality of water. We want people to have a level of comfort uh, with this as we go through this process. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I don't think people should be too, too comfortable with Flint's procedures and fixing um, water issues, because as you know, guys, this is not the first time, okay? So let's get to it. They probably make big, a bigger deal now because it looks like it's, it's affecting other people, but before, you know who it was affecting. So residents in Flint, Michigan are facing yet another issue with the city in battle water system. The, the the water system is contaminated. The whole piping system allegedly is eroded. You can't do nothing with pipes that's eroded and metal and particles are going in the water. You can't filter that type of stuff out. Okay. Flint announced a city-wide boil water advisory after the water main broke Friday morning, causing the pressure of the entire city system to drop below safe levels. Crews have been able to locate the damaged 24-inch transmission line and begin repairing, official says. A public notice said that official anticipate the repair, flushing, and necessary testing will continue at least through Monday. That's fast, meaning the city over 80,000 residents will be left boiling Flint water or using bottled water through the weekend. The Facebook post from the city of Flint describes the boiling water advisory precaution. Listen, this is not the first time. <clears throat> Let me, let's Google this. Let's Google this real quick. Okay, because <clears throat> I don't play. I know this is not new. 
Let's get to it. Now, I'm reading this because the History Channel and all of these other places be trying to um, give you copyrights. But I just pulled up an article right now. And this started way before just now. And the way the news will bring it to you is though this is new or it's not that bad. But it's, it's, it's bad. It's bad. So I just pulled up the History Channel. They better not even try. I'm just going to read the article. So this is, this is, Okay, this is the history. It says that this is the water crisis of the Flint water crisis begins on April 2000, uh, April 25th, 2014. Officials from Flint, Michigan, switched the city water supply to Flint River as a cost cutting measure for the tr struggling city. In doing, the, doing so, this unwitty in, in, introduced lead poison water into the home, what I was just saying, and what will become a massive public health crisis. The problem started when officials decided to switch the water supply from the Detroit Water and Sewage Department to the Carrion D Water, excuse my pronunciation, authority to save money for the economically struggling city. Before the connection could be built, the city turned to Flint River as a temporary water source. Those things in the river, and I'm not an expert, but there's bacteria and things in the river that do not that's not compatible with metal. When you put metal and things into the river, what happens? It rusts. So there's certain treatments they do to the water for people to drink. Okay, even coming from third world countries like Haiti, we don't just drink rainwater. We have to boil it and we put a little bleach in it and the water be good, just a little bit. Well, yeah, we know we can't just drink that water. So why would they use that source? Because of the population possibly? Right, but I'm just saying allegedly. Authorities to save money for the economically struggling city before the connection could be built. As we said, they connected it to the Flint River water source. Disgusting. By May, residents were complaining that the brown water flown into their home looked and smelled weird. But the largely majority African-American and poor citizen was ignored by officials. This is 2014. We're going almost on 10 years later. When ignored by officials in August, E. coli and coliform bacteria was detected in Flint water. From there, a leaked memo from the Environment's Protection Agency and several independent studies warned of dangerous levels of lead in the water. Although the city switched their water supply back in 2015, the damage to the pipes had already been done. This is common sense. I'm not even a pipe expert. I'm not a water expert. But it's just common sense. And that's why I don't understand. We have people in elected officials position or in high positions that don't have common sense. Is it just me? Okay. But that's what I was thinking. It eroded the pipes. So although this way we said, okay, so after months of denial and dodging, the mayor, governor, and president declared the state of emergency in Flint. Free water bottles and filters were provided to the residents to help them cope. But unfortunately, I bet you the damage was already done because lead was deposited into these people's brain. The crisis didn't end there We're for Flint residents. Over a year later, <clears throat> people were still using bottled water to cook, drink, and even brush their teeth. The city re recovery had been slow. And as it worked to replace 30,000 lead pipes, 30,000 in 2017. So, wow, from 2014, three years later, three years later of the residents ingesting this poisonous water, allegedly, then they started fixing it. Reports show that the water in most homes had was generally safe. So, by 2017, allegedly, it was generally safe. Allegedly. But now we in 2013 and we having pipes bust. That's what they saying. I, 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 you know me, I'm skeptical. Unless I know somebody who work in a water company that's going to verify that everything that comes from the news, I take it from a grain. I take it as a grain of salt. I'm just going to keep, I'm just going to keep it 100. 
So I just wanted to show y'all what was going on in Flint, Michigan. I am so sorry that these people continue to suffer. And I want the Black community to know that it's very, very serious about the things that we ingest. It's not just the food, but literally the water. It deposited into our pores when we take showers. We're drinking it into our into our uh, cavities in our mouth. This is why it's very important to know what type of um, water source we have as well, and what area. And as you see, it's sad, but when they consider it to be a red area, y'all know a red area. If y'all know what that is, when it comes to housing discrimination and redlining, um, certain precautions are not taken. Um, certain things are not taken serious as far as what we just read in this article. And it can linger on for years. So you have to take the measures to protect your family. It's sad, but it's true. That's why we're grassroots over here. That's why we're grassroots. We're going to have everything. Our own business, our own water, our own garden. We're working on it. I hope y'all working on it too. Okay. Would you like to learn a okay. brand new and innovative way to invest your extra money that has a low barrier to entry and low competition? What if I told you that it is a guaranteed method to get up to 18 to 20% return on your investment? Tax lien and deed purchasing is the only way to get into the real estate market through the back door. No credit and no loans needed. This method isn't commonly taught and therefore the competition is very low for now. Put together a 14 hour info packed course which will teach you everything you'll need to know to get started. Learn at your own pace, step-by-step -step guided video and aids to start you on the TLC deed investment process. The course offers many learning tools for new investors, helping ensure you safely invest in tax liens and deeds. Contact us today and join the buyback team. I'm sorry. Because you are that, you are capable. You are gifted and you are so unique. All of the things that you may hate about yourself are your strengths. It's okay to be soft. It's okay to be opinionated. It's okay to be different. And it's so okay to just be. The world awaits to receive you.